Okay, that's your first 20 seconds. Next page. Skim the next page, please. Okie dokie. 20 seconds for the next page. OMG in the text box. Don't focus on the text box, focus on the reading. Just skim, just skim, just skim, just skim the text, skim the text. I didn't set you a task yet. Okay, final page, only 10 seconds for the final page because it's short, 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds is up now. Okay, brilliant, guys. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so everybody skim the text, hopefully. And you should have seen, uh, some of you recognize the author. Uh, it's from Scott Thornbury, and it talks about different ways of working uh, with reading texts in class. Okay, so you skim the text once. This is the first step. Now, I'm going to give you the opportunity to read the text more carefully. But before that, before we read the text again, I imagine that it was too difficult to get your head around everything in the text and you have some questions uh, that you'd like to answer by the text or some points that you would look at again in the text. Yes or no? Tell me in the chat box. Are there things that you would like to look at again in the text? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, can you, what, what questions would you like answered by the text? Can you give me some examples of specific questions that you'd like the text to answer? reading actions, discourse knowledge. What are you looking for? Now, now that you have a rough idea of the text, what do you want to know? More details on strategies, extensive versus intensive reading, the way to use it. Brilliant, right? Okay, so we're going to go into the next step of our procedure. The first step was to skim the text. And the second step in this procedure was to raise some questions about exactly the kinds of things that you're telling me in the chat. I'm now going to give you the opportunity to read the text again. And I'm going to show each page for one minute. Okay? As you read, I want you to uh, think about your own questions and talk to yourselves in your mind. I don't want to get too humanistic here, but in the same way that we do when we read in, in real life for, for normal purposes, have a little conversation with yourself in your mind as it answers your questions. What's interesting, what surprises you, you know, and in, um, t this is called text talk. As you read, talk to yourself, answer your questions. You ready, everybody? Does that make sense? We're going to read it again, and you're going to answer your own questions in your minds. One minute on each page. Starts now. Here we go. Okay, everybody's telling me they make sense. So you've got a minute to read this page now. Try and answer your questions. Block out my annoying voice. Focus on the text. Read, 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 guys. Answer your own questions. Check the information. Thank you, Ugo. That's very kind of you. Keep reading, guys. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Keep reading. My voice is good. Thank you. People are so lovely, aren't they? Okie dokie. Now, that's been a minute, so we're going to go to the next page. Okay, so read the next page. You've got a minute. As you read, talk to yourself in your mind, text talk, answer your own questions. Dr. Amita, I'm sorry, uh, but we will share the presentation. We will share the video. You can buy Scott's book. Okay, Elena, I'll keep my mouth shut. I just don't want people to turn off their computers, you know? Thirty seconds. Don't ignore the chat, guys. Don't ignore her. Ignore me. Ignore the chat. Keep reading. Let's be nice in the chat, guys. 
life's too short. Yeah, I'll share the name of the books at the end. Don't worry, I've got a decent reading list for you at the end. You'll have tons of homework after this session. Next minute starts now. One minute. One minute. I'm 10 people short of my all-time webinar record of 633. Come on, keep going up number, come on. I'm not gonna do it today, are we? No one will turn off their computer, that's lovely to hear, thank you. Keep reading guys, look for useful information. Answer your own questions, talk to yourselves in your mind. Talk to yourselves and you might, it's okay to talk to yourself when you're reading. Nobody's going to think bad of you. Okie dokie. And the final page, you just get 30 seconds for the final page because it's short. It's not the TKT book, it's uh, Thornbury's. Uh, new A to Z of EOT, but I'll give you the details at the end. Stick around, right? That's your incentive, right? Stick around and I'll give you the details. Okie dokie. So you can stop reading there, guys. Stop, stop reading there. And so um, we scanned the text, but we didn't have enough time to read it carefully. So we thought about some questions or some points that we'd like it to elaborate on or, or answer. Then we have more time to read it again. And as we read it again, we engage in text talk and answer our questions to ourselves. And the final stage of this procedure is, is simply to reflect on and make notes on what I've learned, right? And this could easily be turned into a kind of a task for the teacher. So the students do the reading on their own and then they make some notes at the end, reflect on the text. And what we just did um, is, called, is an example of a reading procedure. Now, this particular procedure is called SQ3R, okay? And this comes from Christine Nuttall's uh, book on teaching reading skills, which is an ELT classic. She sadly passed away this year, but it's a very, very good book for teaching reading. Uh, Nuttall's book came out in, I think, 1981 originally, so it's not a new technique, and she actually cites it back to 1964. So, I mean, this is a classic uh, technique for, that works with any text. So, the first stage is to survey the text, SQ3R, S stands for survey, and this is basically skimming the text to decide if it's useful uh, and if I want to keep reading it or if, I, if, if it's going to provide me with useful information. That's the first stage. The second stage is to stop and to think specifically about what questions or which points I would like the text to answer. And in terms of language teaching, we can ask students to write these questions down. So depending on the length of the text, they can write down two, three, four, five questions. They then read the text again to answer their own questions. And as they do so, that's obviously the read stage. And as they read again, or oh, I accidentally changed the page, but as they read again, uh, they engage in what Nuttall calls recite, which is basically to engage in kind of text talk and internal conversation as you answer the questions about the text to yourself. And then at the end, you reflect on, you write down what you've learned from this text, okay? And so the idea of this procedure is that it can be used with any text. I mean, if you haven't planned your lesson because you know you had a busy weekend doing whatever you get up to at the weekends, you can come to class on Monday morning and you can just do SQ3R with very, very little preparation. But the idea would be that we demonstrate this a few times in class so students understand the process. And then we can ask them to do it themselves for independent reading outside of the class, okay? So, that's one example of a reading procedure. Now, if you're thinking that uh, SQ3R is not exactly your cup of tea, then if you Google reading procedures and ESL or, or language learning, you're gonna see many, many different examples. And in fact, good, good ELT books on, on reading will have examples of reading procedures. Here's a, a really simple one. I mean, you could create your own based on your own views about learning. I see some questions in the, in the chat box about how